What up, people? Reverend the Legend, and welcome back to another episode of 80s Mania Wrestling Returns. They've done an update, and it's a sick one. So, uh, long story short, you go to your wrestler cards, and it tells you when you used them last. Um, really sick. I really like it. Look, last appearance defended world title versus the Gazzotta Grit one week ago. Click for details, and it freaking opens up all his last matches! This is amazing! This is actually sick. Look, Rick whooped him there. He beat Rick. He beat Rick. I mean, that's sick! It shows your last three matches! This is actually excellent. I love this. Um, won the title, defended the title. So, this is an amazing update. This is actually amazing. You've got a win percentage as well now. They stay killing it on this freaking game with these updates. Really, really good. I'd say we need... If, you, if they ever got to a point where you could edit the wrestlers' names and perhaps some sort of image uh, distortion so that people could, in theory, take their favorite real-life wrestling, um, you know, companies and, you know, make a GM mode based off of that, they'd be in the money. This is, this is golden, right? They're, 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 they're there on the right path to something huge, I think. Really, really big. Anyway, um... What's recently happened? So Arizona has retained, uh, one then retained the title. We finally got the belt off of Reptile Ranger, who's been dudding it up left, right, and center. Uh, Hammerhead is actually the one who's picked up. Former world champion. Um, another classic five-star match between Dobermans and the Samoans. That's going to be our tag team feud for the majority of the year, I would say. Um, Van Winkle putting a beating on Dr. Uh, Dr. B. And Piranha takes the cruiserweight title off of Dickie Thunderbird. Another good vignette for Gothica, who we are going to create a stable for at some point going forward. Queen of Mean uh, retains the title. Zen put the whooping on Slashmaster yet again. Uh, and a three star match as well. And then, of course, Arizona. So we're kind of in a bit of a refresh state here. I don't want uh, Reptile Ranger anywhere near the TV title ever again because he keeps stinking it up. Um, we're going to go Monster Mayhem Select. Yes, sir. And let's build. Right. First off, who's getting the shot? View top contenders. Reptile. Out. No freaking chance. Terry, I still feel like is pushing the heavyweight. Yeah, so we're we're gonna keep we're gonna keep Rick and Terry up there. Zen and Slash are having their own little feud, but it can snowball into a world title picture at some point. To be fair, the Doc doesn't deserve to be anywhere near that. So what we need really is a strong babyface to feud with Hammerhead. Fireball is kind of the strongest according to their list. Cruiserweight champion, Dicky, Zen, and a hooligan. Uh, we might be able to do Thunderbird and Piranha for a little while. Uh, so really at this point we don't have um, we don't have an obvious choice. Uh, so we're gonna give him his, uh, his blonde compare and let's let's try and work out someone new for him. Someone new for the guy. Cobalt Commander hasn't really done anything. Eliminated in the Battle Royal 16 weeks ago. I have not used this guy. We have Damon. He's done nothing. Devin. He's done nothing! Oh, maybe we do throw one of these in. I mean, their pushes are not great, but they've got a good skill. You know, we're going to throw Devin in there. Yeah, let's, let's, let's throw Devin in there for now. I mean, surely he's not going to win. But if we can start building Hammerhead up as a pretty uh, as a pretty invincible champion, and then we can flip the script. Pay-per-view, right. Uh, the participant in this mic spot will face the ladies champion uh, next week. So if we view... That's sick. Even that is a, is a freaking new... Um, is a new thing to have that little box there. So Queen of Mean, Elfet, Gla I mean the women's division unfortunately is a little bit dead for me. I need some fresh blood in there. So we need uh, a female wrestler who really is a babyface and we only have four total. 
Uh, Glam lost one week ago. Doesn't merit a win. Uh, lost a 2v2 match 11 weeks ago. So she hasn't really done anything. Uh, lost a triple threat. Lost a one-on-one. -on -one. Lost, I mean, again. Queen of Means putting a whooping on her. Minx lost to Elfair. Lost to the Lost. And beat Elfair. Let's throw Minx in there then. Give her a chance. <laughs> Minx and Doggo. That tickles me a little bit. Um, and then we have to conjure up a ladies match. Fortunately, our, our roster is terrible. I need to get more freaking women in there. Right, let's give Gothica a chance, even though her push is dreadful. Let's throw her in there. Can we get Gothica and Glam? Well, that, that could be a little summer. That could be a little mid card feud, I think. Openers, who do we have? They're really killing it with these updates. I have, I have started dabbling a little bit in modern, uh, in, in the modern version. And it, uh, even though there's a lot of different elements there, I, I don't think it comes anywhere near this game. So I hope they don't bring two or or, to be fair, I hope they didn't bring much of any of the other one in. Um, sixty-four weeks ago. Come on, come on, Z. Let's put you in the game. You can have your tag team partner by your side. Um, performed a skit 29 weeks ago. And there you go. And then there's a little a little tag team feud set up as well there. How's that? There you go. How's that? How's that? Uh, that? That set the ball rolling. And then we've got a one on one match. Um, let's see if we can get the doc involved. So he's lost to Terry, he's lost to Rick, and then he's done a he's done a mic spot. He's having decent matches. Two, three. I think I think we do need to circle him round into like um, the TV title division. I, I just can't see him ever getting the belt again. Um, so we'll put him with the big boss, and let's try and find. Uh, let's see if we can build up another mid tier rest. Yeah, let's go with Thunderbird, perhaps. You wanna fight? You I don't have to put him back in the Cruiserweight title. Beat Tycoon, lost a triple threat, and then lost to Slashmaster. Well, we'll throw him in there. Um, and we can give him Star Bright. Okay, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Uh, where are we? Shy Tang? Oh, I didn't put him right on. It's fine. Oh, no, it it. Oh, my God. I'm having one of these days where I'm just... I'm just auto-clicking everything. Um, Boombox beats Mullet, happy. Uh, Gothica beats Glam. Gothica gets a win! She never wins. Bit of a dud on the mic with Minx, but we needed her in that spot. Uh, Dr. B and Hammerhead. I was hoping that he was going to keep the title. Alright, let's roll then. Claim that bonus. Actually, I need to look who's in the shop. Man, Hot Shot is in the shop literally every single time. And Cadaver, him and Cadaver. I'm here. Now let's. Every this. freaking time. Quote the Cadaver. Oh, I have to buy him. Seriously, he just won't. He will not get out of my shop. Get out of my shop. Next. Sunday Night Slam. We got mid cards. We got tag teams. We got a uh, pay per view contender match for the tag teams. Let's do it. Uh, da, 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 mid carders. So we start off with the titles. Uh, the winner of this match will face the tag team champions at Monster Mayhem. So I think we go. Uh, we don't want Zen involved anymore, and I don't really want Rick anywhere near that division just yet. So if we go, it has to be the Samoans, I think. We just had that classic. They need to get back in it. Um, we could, we could go with the Mullet Brothers, or actually technically Boombox won that match, didn't they? It doesn't tell you their results. It doesn't tell you their results as a tag team on the back. That's a bit of a shame, but that's fine. We're going to stick them in. Give them a little bit of play. There we go. I like that. 
another tag team match. Uh, Queen of Mean versus Minx. So we're gonna put Queen of Mean. Um, can it be mixed? No, it's not. Queen of Mean and Mother Russia. I could see them as a, as a tag team from the skip five weeks ago. Put them together, and then Minx versus. It's probably gonna have to be glam, isn't it? Lost to Gothic Bell one week ago. It's not gonna get any better for you, Glam, I tell you. She is the uh, currently the Dana Brooke of my federation, unfortunately. The potential's there, but she just ain't getting no wins. Mid Carters, who do we have? Uh, I am not opposed to using either of these guys as a solo, but I don't necessarily need to. Haka. What's our boy doing? Hack Tongo. One against Vladimir the Crawl five weeks ago, and I haven't used him in five weeks. What the hell is wrong with me? We're gonna give him Bonsai, because of course we are. Uh, let's go with Kills. Mad Arab beat Hack Tonga ten weeks ago. How am I forgetting to use these guys? This update is freaking amazing, I swear to god. So, he lost there, they fought there. The Samoans won, and then it was the Battle War. So I have not even used them all year! I have not even used... What's wrong with me? Yes, Mad Arab, we are absolutely going to do that. Uh, we can give him Ryan. Is there, is there a feud? Is there a feud? There's no feud. I thought there might be a feud. Whatever. Alright, Hacker and Arab, alright! Why am I not using these guys? This update is brilliant, man. It's reminding me of all this stuff. Skit, we are gonna go with um, Old Faithful. We can get. Can we get Keith? Succubus involved. Pop 14. Pop 12. Might actually drag it down a little bit. Uh, For in the mix. And then Mike Spot. Hmm. Needs a bit of shine. Oh, we haven't, we haven't seen much from the champ yet. I know he's only a 12. Let's stick him in there. Mike Bruce, just by one. Alright, I'm happy with that. Let's put some merch on this time and let's try not to skip it this time, wherever. How about that one? I need a little bit of merch. I have the t-shirt. Let's go. All right. Okay. Seriously, man, I am vibing out on this update. This update is sick. Yeah, you can give me all that bonus, all that flavor. I think if Keith wasn't there, that would have been higher. Right, hacker, Arab. I like this feud. I do like this feud. But we do need to we do need to have a goal. We need to move them on to something else. Free star, nice, Hakatonga. He's doing his thing. Oh, I just skipped. I have issues. I have issues today. I do apologize for skipping. I don't know why I keep doing this. Tag team match, Queen of Mean wins. And uh the Samoans win as well. Kind of obvious, a bit predictable booking wise. Right, a three on three, so that we can work that in nicely with this Hakatonga Mad Arab feud. Um, pay per view, this guy will face the world champion. Okay. Right, so this one is easy. This one is so freaking easy. We are going here with the thugs and the Arab, big time. Let's go. Nice foil team. Here, we should have. Oh, I thought we had Hakatonga and the others. They are a trio. Why, why is their card not showing up? Is one of them injured, perhaps? Is one of them injured? Yeah, there you go. Who you up? Babyface? Oh, I forgot I had Babyface hooligans. Alright. And Arizona, he'll be back in a few weeks, no worries. Okay. Alright, let's get back to it. So now we can have the match we want. 
Where's my Samoans? South Pacific. Let's go. Big match. Like I said, this needs to end in something for one of these. So I need to find a next level for Hakatonga. Perhaps we move Tonga against Hammerhead, make that a TV title feud. Hammerhead, former world champion. That's the, I, I like that kind of progression. That's kind of sick. Um, world champion. So he's beaten Rick twice. Dr. B, even though he's on that list, is not really a, uh, a genuine threat. And Slashmaster, even though he was supposed to be our new big bad, has just been getting his butt whooped by Zen on a weekly level. So we could do Zen and Slashmaster. And then I suppose maybe if Slashmaster wins transition Zen back into a world title. Uh, okay. Okay. I th uh, okay. We're gonna go Slash, we're gonna go Zen. Okay. Alright, okay. Maybe we'll put a bit of a, a little summer, summer on this. We could go Iron Man. 5% chance, plus 2 to skill. Okay, we'll do that. These guys doing their Iron Man match. We've got that there. Here, um... We've got a number of people who we really haven't given enough shine to, to be fair. I'm just going to have a quick flip through and see if anyone jumps out. I mean, Copper Commander really should have done more by now. Um, so that means we need a baby face. A baby face who has been unappreciated. We've done, like, I think Damon has had a couple battle royals and that's about it. Yeah, and a few trios. Um, lost a trio match. Won a trio match. Wow. See, he's fought like twice, three times in three years. In, in one year. Three times in one year. I swear to God, I know my one, two, threes. And five, six, sevens. Mm -hmm. All right, Damon's a probable. Damon's are fine. Fireball, what you been doing? Lost the three on three seven weeks ago. I don't know. He, he's won that I was reluctant I to push in the first place. I, mean, I think I need to force him back in. Max, I mean, former tag team champion. Reptile Ranger I'm scared to use. It's the freaking guy. Um, keeps having stinkers. We're going to throw Slammer in there. Ever since his babyface turn, it has not gone well for Slammer. I'm, mm, I'm half tempted to to turn him back at some point. Because Slugger Johnson, eh? He was nearly heel of the year. That's how good a year he had in 1918. I'm going to start mixing up with these mic spots soon. Um, do you know what? I think I'm going to go for Old Faithful, actually. I'm going to throw the dock in there. Just keep it, keep him in the, keep him in the fans eyes. First time world champion, he's, he's had a pretty bad first year. Dramatic promo, we are going to go with the champ. Oh, he's injured. Um, Alright, I'll tell you what, let's go with um, Hometown Pride and we'll throw a hammerhead in there. Uh, Patriot Warrior. So we'll throw the champ in there. Maybe... Yeah, for another Russian. Nice. I like that. If Slashmaster wins after Zen spent all this time whooping him, that'd be a bit harsh. But, as far as our booking goes, it would be ideal. Because then we could move the card around so that their feud is a world title feud. Um, let's pick a venue. Shy time is the one today. Oh, the oh, I just clicked it again. People, I apologize so much. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I can't help it. I am, I am a freaking click fiend. I'm a click fiend. Oh my god. All right. I apologize. I swear to God, with the pay per view, I'm gonna sit on my hand or something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this thing. 
Right. Slammer Johnson. Lost, but a good match. Okay, that's two guys we need to use a bit more. Cobalt Commander did all right. Good Mike there. Um, Samoans win that. Not surprising. Plus two is the pot, and there he is. Of course he wins. Of course he freaking wins. Slash Master beats Zen when it matters to set up a world title match. First place for us, thank you very much. Did we know? Uh, we, we, we probably knew, I don't know. Right, triple threat, TV title match, ladies title match, tag team title match, world title match. What to do with the triple threat? Hmm. World title match is sorted, Arizona Chance um, versus Slash Master. Regular match. I don't know if we've had these two go at it again. Um, guys, if you're watching, the techs, the producers, the creators, if you're watching, let's see if we can put a little feud thing in there. See uh, a history of guys fighting each other, perhaps. Huh? That's an update for you guys. Um, so we don't need to do a match type because I, I'm pretty sure these two haven't gone at it yet. So we're just going to leave that be as a standalone match. Um, tag team title match, you know, old classic here. Since their last one was such a good match, perhaps we should put a little something else on this. For a ladder in the mix, perhaps. Ladder match. There you go. How's that for a banger? How's that for a big old banger right there? Right, women's title match. Queen of Mean Minx. This is so, so... So, so one-sided. Um, we'll do that, but it's, it's immaterial, I feel. I'm pretty sure Queen of Mean's just going to put the whooping on her, and that's that. Television title match, Hammerhead. Um, we had it set up for Hacker, didn't we? Where's my man? Hacker Tonga, this is your time to shine, mate. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I suppose we should give him Mother Russia. Yeah. Right. Like it. Triple threat. I, I don't know what to do with. Singles match. Not 100% sure what to do with. So we've got a couple random singles matches. Let's have a look at the top guys that we are not using. Doc is not being used. Cobra Commander. Said we needed to do some more with him. Uh, Zen has nothing to do, and neither does Terry. So if we go Terry, uh, we'll leave that there. We could go Terry and Doc. Might be a nice way to, you know, maybe solidify Terry as a main eventer if he picks up the win there. Uh, Mike Spot. We've got a lot of really good people. Oh, Hooligan's back? Oh, uh, we've got to give him the mic, haven't we? Delivered a mic spot five weeks ago. And then got injured. Alright, oh, Hooligan on the mic. Just to announce that he's back. Skit, Old Faithful. You know it. You know it, you love it, let's do it. In fact, I might just leave it with her. What's that there? Triple threat again, we don't really know what to do with that yet. Uh, who's missing out? Cobalt Commander said we need to do something with him. Rick actually has been very quiet. Maybe we go Zen and Rick, two former world champions. Yeah, because Rick, Rick's gone off the board. He won, he won the title, two losses, trying to get it back. And he hasn't done anything since. So I like that, Zen and Rick. And then we've got our triple threat. Hmm. Let's just, we'll just go through and we'll just look at what names Cobalt has to be on the card. Has to be. We haven't done anything with Chet for a while. 
Danger Zone, I said I wanted to get him involved. Last performed a skit 30 weeks ago. Right, who else? Dicky. Dicky dropped the Cruiserweight title. Magnus Muscle, Max Power, Tycoon. Do you know what? Let's get, um, let's get Slammer back in the mix. If he picks up like a triple threat win here, that would be kind of sick. Oh, I like that. Okay, I'm, I'm quite happy with that card. Let's see what we're doing here merch-wise. The Doc. Zen, Islander, T-shirt. Um, Colosseum? No, we did that last time. So we're gonna do Silver Stadium. And look, I'm gonna press it, and I'm gonna remove my hands from the area! We just saw Cobalt and Slammer have a good match. Whoa! My man! Let's go! Only two stars. I nearly cracked the button again. God damn. I have issues. I genuinely don't know what's going on with me. Four star segment with Gothica. This is going to be a good one. I wouldn't mind these two going back and forth. There we go, man. Look at Tonga. Beats a former world champion for the television title. There we go! Now we're moving on up! Zen, who, even though he's had the better of the feud with Slashmaster, did not get the number one contendership. So he's gonna go back and forth. Okay. Beats Rick. He still wants that title. He still wants to be in the picture. This should probably be pretty one-sided. Our women's division needs help. It needs help. I need to grab someone, get them in. I might have to do like some, I like a like a mid-year draft or, or something. Bust your face. We are really struggling. Right, Hooligan's back. He's happy. Big title match here. I mean, they should let us go out to six stars because these boys are gonna build a roof off. Oh, a quick one. Quick little match. How many stars are we gonna have? Four star? That's a little bit underwhelming for those guys. Terry and the Doc. The Doc really needs to get his groove back, but he's just got white. It's so weird, like maybe two months ago we had no baby faces in the in the main event picture, and now we have a good three. Hakatonga maybe four. Wow, out of nowhere, Slashmaster, new world champion! Damn! Where did that come from? Jeez! He's, all he's been doing is losing since I brought him in. So, Slammer did really good. I'm I'm real happy about it. I love Slammer. He's, he's low-key one of my favorites in the game. Uh, Hakatonga wins the TV title against a former world champion. Zen redeems himself. Rick, Rick is slipping down. I don't like guys to hold the world title and then immediately fall off. But he, he is struggling a little bit there. Hooligan is back. Um, really good tag team match, of course. Terry just wipes the dock. Wipes him. And then we've got Slashmaster and Arizona. I tell you, Doc needs to watch out. Because he might be on the chopping block here. But we He's really struggling. To be fair, he's really struggling. I, I, I do worry about the dock. I'm going to claim this bonus. Mm -hmm. And that's it. June is a coming. So, my takeaways from this are that number one, the update is freaking incredible. Love it so much. It's amazing. Um, women's division is absolutely underpowered. We need more bodies, and we definitely need more main event bodies, particularly in the babyface department. So, I need to do something there. I need to do something big time. I might after I might after June do like a mid-year mini draft. Get some people in, take some people out. I mean, someone like the Doc, he might have to go. He's just losing. 
uh, even TV title feuds is losing. I, I don't know what to do with the guy. There we go. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching Rebel Legends. See you next month. And peace.